guitar. How you doing? Thanks so much for being here. I'm Instructor Dwayne Jenkins and today we are working on a, how to improve our lead guitar playing. So if that's something you're interested in, stick around. We are currently working out of this book right here, Lead Guitar Wizardry Volume 1, where we are learning how to be a lead guitar wizard. So if that's something of interest to you, stick around and we'll show you how to do it. So here we are working on our minor pentatonic scale patterns and uh, if you haven't figured these out I'd highly recommend you start with these. This is a great place to start with uh, playing lead guitar and becoming a lead guitar wizard. And we are working out of this book like I mentioned and we are now in, in lesson 18 which is pattern 4. Now if you've been watching my videos um, I went through pattern pattern 1, 2 and 3. Okay, Your first pattern is the one that everybody knows and we're in the key of A minor. And uh, so now we're at lesson 18, which is pattern four. And we're going to take a look at this one a little bit more in depth. Now, as I stated before, the reason why you want to learn these patterns, okay, is because they give you more versatility along the fretboard. They build this road map, okay, and they allow you to stay in key. And this is how guitar players do it. I see them shredding all over the fretboard and sounding good. This is how they do it, okay? Now, some of them play different scales or styles of different scales you can learn. I'd recommend we're starting, you know, we're talking about the fundamentals here in this training. So you want to start with the minor pentatonics. Then you can move on to other more advanced ones, modes, stuff like that if you want. But I would recommend sticking with the minor pentatonics to begin with, okay? Start with those, all right? And there's five of them. We've already discussed the first three. Now, if you need to look at those videos, I'll leave you those in the description below. Always check that below because I always have links in there to the other videos and some of the tools that I use. People ask me all the time what kind of strings I use, picks, guitars, amps, stuff like that. And I'll leave links in there as well, plus, uh, you know, a link to the book and stuff like that but um, <clears throat> so what we're doing now today is we're looking at pattern four scale pattern four now if we're in the key of A minor which you start right here at the fifth fret okay so pattern one is going to be right here five to eight pattern two eight to ten pattern three is uh, 10 to 12 and pattern four is going to be right here at the 12th fret okay so it's going to go 12 15 12 15 again 12 14 12 14 13 15 and then 12, 15 again. Back to 10, 8, 5. Now, it's like I've stated before, as you can see, even though we're playing up here, we're still in the key of A, because you can tell that it resides on that A note, okay? And so, once again, you want to learn these patterns because each one of them has different character. And then you want to learn to connect them, okay? And that's done through learning your intervals, okay? So for instance, this is pattern one, pattern two, pattern three, pattern four. If you know your intervals, you could really even do a solo just on one string, okay? And you want to work with your personality looks like I mentioned to you before, your hammer-ons, your pull-offs, your slides, your bends, your vibrato. And master those intervals, okay? those intervals that are going to allow you to stay in, in key every time. Now it's not to say you couldn't use some of those other notes because you'll look at other, you know, lessons on the pentatonic patterns. It'll show you some other notes that you can throw in there. But just these are the, the, the fundamental principles, okay? Get down the fundamentals first before you start doing all that other stuff because it's going to make a huge difference, all right? I can't tell you how much I've run across people who want to take lessons. They run into roadblocks. They just they skip the fundamentals. Do not do that. I'm telling you, okay? It's going to make a huge difference, all right? So once you get this pattern down, once again... Remember, you've you got to learn your root notes, too, like A, A, so there's an A here, there's an A here. 
So if you learn those root notes, where those A's are, those are good places to, well, we're in the key of A, and that's why I say A. And those are good places to, you know, to stop, you know, to kind of pause for a second to get your, your bearings together where you're going to play next, you know what I mean? So if you learn your fretboard, master those intervals, now we can play from the 5th fret all the way up to the 15th, way up here. And practice your picking like I would mentioned to you before, and what we can do is we can work with either the minor progressions that I presented to you before, so I would highly recommend you get those down just so that you're familiar with them, where they are, how they work, solo over those, or if you want, you can work with backing tracks, which I'd highly recommend as well. So like right now, I've got my, I've my, got my phone here hooked up to our YouTube backing track. It's in A minor, and we'll just play a little bit with it and see uh, how this stuff sounds, okay? So we're just gonna play the, the uh, fourth pattern here. Just slide into that A to begin with if you really wanted to. You don't have to play real fast or anything. In fact, what I would recommend start slow to just kind of see how the notes fit with, with the progression. good place to stop, you know, it's on those A's. You know, and then you can add, then if you have those other patterns down, which you should, you can add, add those in there as well. So just work on those patterns, okay? Work on those pentatonic box patterns. Those fundamental principles, okay? Make sure you get that one down. Play that one really well. Practice your personality licks, like I told you, hammer-ons, pull-offs, slides, bends. Work on your intervals. Okay, so there we have it, pattern four. Make sure that you learn all of those and be able to connect them like I was showing you in the video because that's what you want to do. We're building that road map, you know. Now we're in the, we're able, like I said, to play from the 5th fret all the way to the 15th fret, okay. Master those intervals. That's the main thing you want to do is master those intervals because then you're going to be able to stay in key and sound good every time you play, all right. And so then what we're going to do in our next lesson, lesson we're going to look at lesson 19, 
pentatonic scale pattern five. Then we'll have all five of them, and then we're gonna really be able to do some really cool stuff and stay all over the, be able to play from fret one all the way to fret whatever it is. This is 22 if you have 24. You know, some guitars have 22, some have 24. I believe Fenders have 21. Doesn't really matter because the patterns connect like puzzle pieces and they just revolve over and over again and so you can play all over the neck that's the secret to it that's the secret sauce is be able to connect those patterns and then you can play all over the neck okay so thank you so much for watching appreciate it practice that stuff keep working be having your dedication to practice if uh I highly recommend if you need some help get this book Lee Guitar Wizardry Volume 1 it teaches you how all the fundamentals you're going to need to learn to be a Lee Guitar Wizard and you can get this on Amazon in either Kindle or, or paperback or you can get it out of my eBay store and if you do buy it out of my eBay store which I'd appreciate I will personally sign it for you okay so be sure to check out my website subscribe to the channel click the bell for future notifications and I will see you at our next lesson.